Teslas have always been known as being far ahead of any other vehicle in its class, and that's mainly due to the technology that's inside the vehicles. This starts with the camera system. Every Tesla has eight cameras. There are three up front. There's the standard one that you're viewing me now. There is the wide angle one, and then there's the telephoto one. Uh, I guess you could see me because you're telephoto. But then there's some on the sides. Let me show you. Now there's a camera on either side of the car on the signal markers and then there's one on on the B pillar of either side of the vehicle. And the last camera is around back. Let me show you. And the last camera is the trunk, the rear camera, the camera that you use when you go in reverse. And that's the eight cameras on the exterior of the vehicle. But there's one camera inside that I want to talk to you about. Okay, so with these eight cameras, there's one more camera. And that is a camera inside the cabin. It's actually located right above the rear view mirror. It can be found in Model 3, Model Y, and the new 2021 Model S and X. Now, this camera has never really done anything up until recently. On a software update that I received on my FSD beta build, it told me that Tesla was going to start using this camera to monitor driver attentiveness and awareness. Now, this wasn't only for just the FSD beta fleet, but also any of Tesla's latest vehicles that are vision only. That means there's no radar in them. Now, I have a radar in my vehicle when it was built, but it's no longer being used. Tesla has always monitored driver attentiveness and awareness by you keeping your hands present on the steering wheel. The weight of your hands lets Tesla know that you're paying attention. If you don't pay attention, the vehicle warns you, lights, audible, and then eventually turns off for the duration of your drive. Now, that system has got a little bit of a flaw as people have found ways to trick the system by hanging weights and doing all sorts of stuff that is highly not recommended as it's a big safety concern. So Tesla has listened and has decided to use this internal cabin camera to monitor the driver. Now, how exactly is it monitoring the driver? We don't exactly know, and that's what we're here to find out. So today I wanna to look at, does Tesla know when I'm looking forward and when I'm not looking forward or using my phone? And what does it do in either of those circumstances? Let's go take a drive and find out. Okay, so we're all geared up. We've got a camera over here to monitor me and my face and look at when I'm looking forward. We've got one over here that's that's essentially gonna act like the cabin camera and see what it sees. And then we've got one right back over here. And this one's just so you can see what I'm doing in the car. So in this first test, I've navigated about one mile up the street. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens if I try to use my phone, meaning my eyes are not on the road, and then I'm not holding the steering wheel either. So right now I have FSD activated, here we go. Now, you can see there, the car beeped right away and it's flashing blue now. So I'm gonna take over. Now, if I were to have my eyes looking forward and do the same exact thing, I will not have my hands present on the steering wheel, but I'll keep my eyes engaged, you'll see I won't get a beep for quite a while. Watch this. My hands are not touching the steering wheel and the car has not warned me about anything yet. clearly looking forward though and so the vehicle sees that and is accounting for that now you'll see right now a blue blinking light at the top of the screen to let me know hey hold the steering wheel it gets faster it then starts to beep and at which point I have to take over now if you notice just before that I wasn't holding the steering wheel but I as well wasn't looking and because of that the vehicle didn't go through the normal process of blue blinking light faster blue blinking light, audible chime, and then disengage, it actually went directly to an audible alert to tell you to 
pay attention, look forward. Okay, now, so clearly Tesla is watching us, but do you know who's not? Today's sponsor, Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is a world-leading VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. It's actually the provider that I personally use. Now, what they do is they change your IP address by routing your traffic through their encrypted tunnels, thus hiding your online activity from your internet service provider or snooping eyes. Now, I use private internet access whenever I go online to protect my information and hide my digital footprint. Plus, it works with all major streaming services so I can stream my favorite content from anywhere in the world. What's more important is that they have a strict no logs policy so you don't have to worry about people logging all of your activity. It also works with all major operating systems, so it doesn't matter if you're using Windows or Mac or iOS or Android, it will work and you can secure up to 10 devices at a time. So there's no excuse not to use it. If you're interested in private internet access, I'll put a link to them down below. It's for three years plus two free months. It comes out to about $2.08 per month. That's and 83% savings. There's no better deal or any reason why you shouldn't be using them. And it's all risk-free. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee plus 24-7 support, so there's no reason why not to. So go ahead, use the link in the description below to sign up for private internet access and start protecting yourself today. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, in that example, you could clearly see that Tesla while it's always got a driver awareness and presence safety feature enabled for all their vehicles, and that's the presence of hands on the steering wheel, they're actively testing and going to implement vision-based driver awareness, and that's coming through that cabin camera. Today, on the vision-based cars, it is monitoring. It's monitoring to make sure that your eyes are facing forward. Now, is the hands only on the steering wheel the perfect solution? No, i.e. why we're looking at implementing vision. Is vision only the perfect solution? No, but I believe that with the combination of both of these, you have a very good driver awareness and attentiveness feature set that will not only monitor the driver for having their hands present, having their eyes present, and that way, it maximizes, ensures safety. It ensures that we don't become too complacent on this amazing autopilot system. As good as it is, we should always still be fully aware and, and watching our surroundings. I'm really excited to see how Tesla takes this even further. On Twitter, a Twitter user by the name of Green the Only has actually looked at the source code and has seen that Tesla is monitoring a lot when it comes to the driver awareness with that camera. That means things of when you're looking away, when you're looking down, when you're looking at your phone and so forth. In this case, I used my phone. There are probably more feature sets coming, but I've actively seen this as I've glanced at my phone sometimes while driving and the car has audibly alerted me where it hasn't done so when I'm not looking at my phone. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. What do you think? Is driver awareness with hands and vision the best system that's out there? Are you looking forward to this being implemented? Do you break the rules a little bit and look at your phone? And what else do you think that Tesla can monitor using this vision-based system? Tesla's always watching, and now they're watching you, the driver, to ensure safety. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, and if you aren't already subscribed, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Oh, oh, oh.